Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at um, some of the formats of this particular calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. So our first question here, I'm going to show you guys what happens when I do square root of 48. So let's switch on the calculator and under the home menu, we're going to go into calculate and we're going to put in square root of 48. Now the square root button is right here and we're going to put in 48. Okay, so what we're getting is we're actually getting 4 square root of 3 as one of the answers. Now this answer is in a third form. Now we want this in a decimal though. If we want this in a decimal, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but the shortcut that I found quite handy is using the shift and equals button. So if you click on shift equals again, it's going to give you 6.9 Two eight. I mean, it's going to stop at three decimal places here. But if you want to go back to that third form, all you got to do is just click on EXE again, and it's going to send you back to the third form. What about fractions? Well, let's take something like four over, I don't know, ten. Let's just do four over ten. See what happens. So for the fraction button, I've actually got this little button here. So I'm going to click on. Can I do it without it? Oh, I can. There you go. Four over ten. Now, when I press the equals button, it is going to give me 2 over 5, which is the simplified version of this fraction. Now, let's say I want this as a decimal. I could go into shift and equals, and it's going to give me that decimal value. Now, likewise, if you, you can actually do it backwards as well, I believe. Let's try it out. So if I go 0 0.4, it's automatically going to give me as a fraction 2 over 5. Now, the main reason this is happening is because of um, the actual calculator settings here. Uh, let me just show you guys what I mean by. So when you click on settings, there's the calc settings. So th this is the calc mode settings right now. And if you go into that, you're going to get input and output. So as you guys can see, there's actually four different ways of um, how you can input and what the answer comes out as an output. Now, I, uh, I'm going to be honest with you folks, I, I prefer the maths input and the maths output. Um, and anytime I want this as a decimal, I just use that shift equals button rather than having this whole calculator in the second mode. Now, if you think about using the line mode, that is almost like, well, let's just have a look what we do for line mode. Let's go back, calculate. So let's try that 4 divided by 10 again, or 4 fraction 10. So notice how this has this little button. Now this is one of the, um, in the old calculators, there used to be the ABC button. So that's what's happening here. And when I do this, I'm gonna get two, you know, uh, two over five. I wonder if I can do shift equals to convert, oh, I can, I can still use shift equals to actually put that as 0 0.4. Uh, while this is, you know, this is how the old calculators used to be like, I prefer the input and output to be with the um, maths input and maths output because like something like putting adding two fractions it just kind of makes sense with this thing right like let's go back to home calculate and I'm gonna do 4 over 7 and I'm gonna click plus I don't know 6 over 8 that gives me 37 over 28 and of course if I go shift equals that's gonna give it to me as a decimal point Now, there's a few more things that that I need to tell you guys about here. Um, so let's go back to that square root of 48 one. So when I do square root of 48, I get 4 root 3. Now, I've shown you guys the shortcut method of, of this, but you can actually go into format. And if you go into format, it's going to give you all the different formats in which this number can be represented. So standard, we've got just this standard formation here. If we go into decimal, that's going to give you in 6.92. And if I go in engineering notation, uh, it's actually giving me to the power of times 10 to the power of 0. And the cool thing is I could actually go left and right to make it 10 to the power of negative 3, 10 to the power of negative 6. And you can notice how the decimal point is actually moving three spots. And likewise, if I go the other way, I'm going to get 0 0.006 times 10 to the power of 3. Of course, all these numbers are still the same number, which is 4 root 3, or 
6.92. It's just a, a different format, a different way of writing it. And of course, the last one, when we go into format, we got this sexagesimal. Um, you know, I've done maths in a long time, but I was like, what is this? I've never seen this before. But the reality is I have actually seen this because when I clicked on it, I recognized it straight away what it was. And that is it's given in the hours, minutes and seconds format. Let's take 6.5 here. Now, when I put 6.5, it's as a fraction, it is 13 over 2. Now, I want to put this as 6.5 hours. If this is 6.5 hours, we know that it's going to be 6 hours and 30 minutes. So what I want to do is go into format. Now, interestingly enough, we've got a couple of extra things that's pop, popped up here, and that's because we were dealing with a fraction here. And because we're dealing with a fraction, when we go into format, we're gonna get improper fraction and mixed fraction. So if I click on mixed fraction, that's gonna convert it to six and a half. And if I go back to improper, that's gonna go into 13 over two. Decimal, which we know is 6.5, that's fine. What other do we have? Presentation and sexagesimal. Here we go. Let's try this one. There is your six hours and 30 minutes. So when you get 6.5 hours, you can actually go into that mo that particular format, which will give you in hours, minutes, and seconds. So I could actually try a different one. I could go 6.5125. I don't know. I'm just going crazy here. Let's go format and let's. F Interesting. It hasn't actually given fraction in this. So it didn't want to give this as a fraction. But if I go into this, it's going to give me 6 hours, 30 minutes, 45.17 seconds. It's just a quick little video to show you guys how to uh, format your numbers in multiple different formats.